Hey everyone, and welcome to this quick video about the NABCEP PV Associate, also known as the PVA. In this short video, we're gonna go over the ins and outs of the credential and how you can obtain it. So let's get started. First things first, let's talk about NABCEP. That stands for the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. And make sure you say it, NABCEP. You don't have to spell out each letter. We'll know you're new. Um, and so NABCEP was founded in 2002, and they are a nonprofit 501c6 with the mission that you can see here on the screen. They are a well-respected organization in the solar industry, and they are the main solar certification body. The PV Associate is ideal for folks who are newer to the solar industry, students who are in renewable energy programs, and job seekers who are looking to break into the solar industry. By obtaining this credential, you are showing your employer or potential employers that you've invested the time and the effort into building your solar knowledge, so much so that you could pass an exam on it. There are two main pathways that you can qualify to take the PBA exam. The first pathway is the education pathway, and that's where you take a NABSEP approved PVA prep course. HeatSpring offers the Solar PV Bootcamp plus NABSEP PV Associate Exam Prep. And this course contains about 20 hours or so of lecture, an active discussion board, and lots of practice questions to get you exam ready. Plus, it's taught by Sean White, a renowned solar instructor um, who has also written many books. Our second option is the Experience Pathway. To qualify for this route, you have to have worked in the industry for at least six months, and you'll need a letter from your employer as well as fill out a work verification form. In this instance, you don't have to take any specific coursework. Let's talk exam details. When you actually get ready to take the PBA exam, the exam itself has 70 multiple choice questions. 60 of those questions are actually scored with the other 10 being pilot questions. To get a passing grade, you must get a 65 or higher on your exam. You'll have a total of two hours to complete the exam. And you can take it either at a measure learning testing center, which, have, which are located all over the country and the world, or you can take it from your office or your home via live online proctoring. NABCEP developed something called a job task analysis, or a JTA, and they do that to make sure that the exam accurately reflects true jobs that are in the industry. So the PBA job task analysis includes five core knowledge content domains. They are application, sales and economics, design, installation, and operations and maintenance. And you can see how much each one is weighted here on the screen. Once you get your PVA credentials, first of all, congrats. That's no easy feat. Once you have it though, you'll want to keep it up to date and you'll have to renew it every three years. The main uh, thing you'll have to do to renew is completing a minimum of 12 hours of continuing education. And this is courses that NABSAP has approved to be taken for this reason. They have a whole NABSEP course catalog and HeatSpring has tons of info on the PV Associate page where you can see all of our courses and how many hours they count towards the PVA renewal. If you're looking to take your solar career to the next level, having an active PV Associate credential counts as 18 hours of advanced training out of the 58 hours that are required for the PV installation professional certification, as well as the PV technical sales certification. So you can essentially apply that PVA towards getting even further advanced certifications. That's all for today's video on the NABSAT PV Associate. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to us at HeatSpring at support at heatspring.com. See you in class.